there Herosho's Garden. It's so nice to make this video for you. My name's Jane Watchman and I'm an abstract artist. Um, I work in Wimbledon Art Studios, so this I'm going to show you around my studio which is rather bright and colourful, but I thought it'd be nice for you to see you know how I work. Um, I don't really do flowers as such but my, my work is based on landscapes and you know what I see and the shapes actually so I could take photographs and cut them up so I end up with a different landscape to what most people would end up so it's quite hard sometimes when I say this is Ireland or Sussex because I've chopped it up a bit and I've mashed and mashed it but it does seem to work so I rely quite a lot on memory and what I see um, and just seeing out of a car window or what, you know, little snippets and take a quick picture. So photos are very important for me, although I tend not to use them when I'm painting. I want it to be more abstract than that. So um, I'm quite pleased sometimes um, how they come together. But so to start with my paintings, I work two ways. I work linear and then I do more abstract, more free flow. Um, I tend to start with the linear and then have fun. And I think when I do the more abstract sort of flowing, as we call it, the colors really come lo more loose and I mix them, you know, sort of on the canvas and things. So I think those are the two ways. So, which is a good start. Um, I, I work quite big most of the time but then I use smaller paintings as my ideas, or actually funny, nice little paintings come out of my big painting. So I work on a lot of paintings at the same time, <laughs> which you'll probably see when you get a proper view of my studio. So I work quite frenetically, um, and I have lots of things primed and you know ready to go. Um, a long time ago, my daughter said to me, mom, I'm always messing around priming my, my you know boards or my canvases and she sort of, I had to explain it saying when I was in a really good or the flow of painting they were there ready to use and in fact funny she did fine art at uni and a friend of hers works very like I do and she came back and went mum I've just got it she said I totally see where you're at so for me it's not that I paint the whole time it can take me a while to get in but when I do start it's quite continuous and um you know, so, um, which is good. When it, when it goes well, it goes very well. It can also go very badly with my mix of colours. So yeah. it, it can, we can have good days and bad days. I think a bit like we can every day. So, but a good day is great. A bad day is a bit depressing sometimes. But the lovely thing of having a studio is I can come in the next day and say it's worked, or maybe it's worked better than I thought, which is quite nice actually. Or maybe it hasn't, but that's a good thing. So I find my studio for me is my sanctuary really. So if I take you round a bit, it's not the biggest space, um, but I have my workstation. This is where I tend to do all my work. Um, and as you can see, I'm not very tidy, um, but I think I'm an all, I, I try, I, I sort of know where everything is. So my paint draws here, I do, I do actually put colours. I do, so I organise chaos, I think I call it really. But, um, so we have all, all the greens, all the, all the blues, and funnily, lots of pinks. <laughs> um, so I, when I'm, when I'm painting, I don't mix, I don't mix them on a palette. I mix them on the canvas or on the board. So my way of getting layering is to just see what happens. So it's quite spontaneous, um, which is going back to say, I can have a good day or a bad day, but I tend to use different sorts of layering and different thicknesses of paint to get sort of, I'll show you a bit later, but to get some layers. Um, so actually here's my sketchbook. And so while I'm working, I sort of, I play with colours um, and shape again, sort of, um, but I always have this open. So I'll get different palettes at different times, really, which is lovely, depending on 
what you know what I'm what which which colors I sort of decide to start with um the other thing I do is why I work on a lot at the same time is I want to keep a sort of a group a story of paintings so if I do an exhibition or there is a group that all go together and there is times when I think my work doesn't quite go together and I go off sort of off piece a bit but actually funny when they hang there is there is something there that does bring them together and it's basically quite is the colour really pink is always has to come into my work um and I wanted a commission for a guy who said I don't really want much pink and I went you can't really have my painting without some pink so funnily I'm a, quite a tomboy but pink <laughs> pink comes through a lot in my work so um yeah it, it's nice to have a group and then actually I also have a drawer full of paint this will show you how frenetically I work if I show you my drawer of my plan chest um and again working on smaller smaller ideas sometimes it's just card you know smaller pieces but then it, they all sort of come together and different ideas um as you might be able to see and actually when you start looking at a few together a lot is coastal because i sail a lot with my husband um and we go out to sort of the isle of wight and we sail from sussex and it's just beautiful it just sort of the colors and the, the as you come back into the harbor you see the downs and so i'm very spoiled so hence why not as many flowers but the shape of the landscape but the outside as you can see is quite important so um and this is what i mean about the sort of correlation of things actually go together better than i thought so um yes i might look a little bit chaotic but it does group together yeah so this is this is it so we have lots of pre pre ready boards ready to go as i said sketchbooks normally to hand and um lots of work really to sort of start so if i give you a maybe let me use this one here this is just a piece of board i found i also try not to use paint brushes too much without giving half my um so i tend to sort of scrape on um scrape on and see what happens so i will be quite i will just the, the more i go for it without thinking the better it is for me so i will just use layers and then what will happen is i will get more layers underneath and layering actually is really important to my work so it might not look like it's going to work but then i start getting shapes and mark making actually is one of the most important things in my work and I don't know where it comes from, but I just love shape and form. Um, maybe because I like architecture and if I had a garden, it would be quite architecturally, you know, sort of quite bold shapes where my husband is very pretty and garden. So I think, again, the combinations are nice. They differ. So, you know, okay, I work in acrylic because they dry quicker. Also, the colours are just they're just amazing if i when i work in oils which i love it comes out more dirty and i think now my practice is definitely color and shape um i'm, I'm known for using color some people may find it a bit bright too bright others sort of you know love it so i call them my buffing boards interestingly um and and hopefully as i say we see what happens um and how much I work on them. Sometimes I can, I have to sit back because I can overwork um, and I get a bit carried away when, with the colours really. So <laughs> it's a bit like being an artist in a sweet shop <laughs> and you just think, oh, this is yummy. And one of my, one of my, one of my real treats and has been not going into, with lockdown, is not going into an art shop and buying paints. Um, and it's just a joy you come back and you put them all out and go oh, which one am i trying or i try different ones for different thicknesses different makes and so this one slightly more translucent um i mean normally probably without doing the video i probably would let it just dry a little bit more but actually that really doesn't matter 
and then a cape, and then I will blend with a brush. But I find a brush for me is a little bit static and doesn't, it's not as free, but it will, if you, so I use paper, I use card, I can, you know, like a lot of it, you know, you use feathers, fingers are great. Look at, I just spilt on one of my nicely primed boards. So we will actually use this as a perfect example. So I've also learned to make mistakes, actually, which is good. And I think one of another thing I learned at the university was you can prime over. Nothing, nothing it has to say the same, which I think sort of suits me as a person. I am sort of quite energetic and I like spontaneity, which I think does come through. And I think once you know you could prime over something or start again and think about it, it makes life a bit, bit sort of, okay, that didn't work, but it could work again. I'm so lucky to be painting. It takes everything away um, you know you can just lose yourself in it and after doing a degree 10 years ago and getting my studio I actually thought I never thought I'd be doing this um, I try not to take it too seriously and just enjoy it I used to do a lot of printing, but I've stopped doing that as much. Um, or sometimes I add a bit of printing on to my work. This is a little example of from when we were sailing, sorry, wrapped up to keep the frames. And so basically I'd done the painting. This is the thing I, I quite like and I need to do a little bit more of. And this for me was just all the, a boat race, um, but just made from, you know, just, just random marks but when it came out there were there were boats on the water as far as I can see so um I think that's yeah people find that abstract can be quite hard but I think it's just the thing you have to stay with if you believe in and I would love to draw or paint more representational but it just doesn't work for me really this was definitely a sort of summer heat this big painting here and this is a little series, well, I'm start saying a little series with a big painting. Um, and again, this for me was just a sort of the Indian, all the sort of colours coming together. Um, and a bit of a roaming landscape. So this, I think this sort of says really why I sort of mix my landscape. So I couldn't say it's specific. Um, but this is, this actually, this one shows my layering quite well, really. So you can see here, I need these odd marks to work to break it up. I don't like, as I said, you know, a few drips occasionally, but actually funnily, a lot of people don't like drips on paintings. And I did a commission once and it had some drips and the, the poor man asked me to take them off because he said his father-in-law would go, could they not wipe that? <laughs> so actually, but actually I love things like this. So what I really like is spontaneity and then maybe a gentleness against the harshness of the colour. Um, and then it sort of follows through really. This one's not finished, but again, I'm trying to keep little bits that I like, which does get a little bit difficult. And then actually one thing I do a lot of, I work on round canvases and I've got another one over here, which has got a, a, a chair in front. Um, I call them a global. So these are smaller, a global. And then what I do with these, I mount them into, a, they float mount in a frame. So they, they sort of look a bit as if they're in transit. And what's lovely is they get the, the shadows at different times of light. Obviously this is just the preliminary before they're framed and things. So um, uh, this is a global frame. So this shows, it's amazing how much a frame can make things sort of so 
normally in different light they will have a little bit of shadow whatever so these these are part of my favorite things i love working on round actually funny i've been working on paper because again feeling a bit transitional which actually now i'm quite pleased complete quite pleased with um again sort of bringing the colors and more um the beauty of paper is i could cut some of this down if i wanted i think hopefully that gives you a, a sort of insight to my studio. I hope I've not talked too much, but I just wanted to get across. I suppose I'm pretty passionate about what I do and I love, I'm very lucky. And I hope, you know, you've enjoyed me sharing it with you. And um, it's been lovely to talk and be included with Horatio's Garden. Thank you very much.